Groovy. Evening, everyone, and welcome to Horror After Midnight. <clears throat> I'm your host, Slinky Jallo, and uh, as always, joined by my good buddy, KC, and Saw Guy. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? You guys brought me back. We had to finish this franchise. Yeah, finish it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Home yeah, stretch. It's this journey together so far, so we yep. have to finish yeah. You know. Uh let's see. So the conjuring universe. Yeah. Tonight's the curse of La La Rona. I probably messed that all up. <laughs> you gotta roll the R, man. La Llorona. I can't roll shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. It must be a Cali thing, man. Yeah, it could be, man. You yeah. Because <laughs> I mean you're right there. Well, hell, yeah. California was probably part of it was part of Mexico back in the day. Hey, it doesn't matter. Fuck, man, I, I'm going to be afraid of the fucking river behind me now. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Oh, shit. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> so, all right. So, up tonight is uh, The Curse of La Llorona. Messed that up again. 2019 horror film. Uh, let's see. Written by uh, Mickey Daughtry, Tobias Iconius. That's a fake mm -hmm. name. Uh, directed by uh, Michael Chavez. And mm -hmm. Let's see. Produced by James Wan, the man. yeah, yeah. Uh, Gary Doberman, and Emil Gladstone. Nice. Uh, production company New Line Cinema, Atomic Monster Productions, um, Emil Gladstone Productions, distributed by Warner Brothers. Usual suspects. Mm -hmm. It was released March fifteenth, two thousand nineteen, in the South by Southwest Festival, and then it came out in the U.S. on April nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. Oh shit. Budget for this was nine million. All right, mm -hmm. and box office it pulled one hundred and twenty three point one million. Holy that's, shit! That's a that's crazy. That's a crazy a fucking more. gamble. Yeah, yeah. Like these offshoots of the Conjuring movies, like they just print cash, man. Like, well, so, you know, uh, I think the reason why this one was really good and why it made so much more money was the fact that they knew that a lot of the Latinos. Like they have this aura with La Llorona, and they they hit a gold mine because I think when they did the nun with Valak, everybody thought, oh, it's a possessed nun. It's like it's a woman. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cash cow this motherfucker. And then when they actually went to the original story, La Llorona, um, it, it really blew it out of the water. I mean, fuck, nine million to to how much again? It was it, the bud nine million, and then it pulled in one hundred and twenty three point one. Holy so. Yeah. That's nuts, dude. That's nuts. That's, That's a drop in the bucket for the fucking budget. Yeah, it's like 12 yeah. times the budget, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, Shit. Plus, I think the story of the weeping woman, uh, it's well known. Mm -hmm. you know? Not even just in like Mexican like folklore and stuff like that. It's uh, it's known the world over. Uh, yeah, it all started because of her seeing her man kiss a younger woman and she went and yeah. drowned her fucking kids. Yeah, and they're getting that strange, son. Mm -hmm. And nope, nope. See, no hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, boy. Fucking wreck your world. I think they did a decent job. <clears throat> um, there's a bunch of these. There's a bunch of movies that I guess they they're based off this story, this, mm -hmm. this yeah. you know, curse, whatever. Uh, but this was one of the better ones, I think, that was executed. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is like what it's officially or unofficially in the conjuring. I don't that's what I was getting ready to get at. Yeah, it's like yeah, un, it's like unofficially, like some people say it's part of the conjuring universe, some people say it's not. That's why we were basically just like screw it, just go ahead and do it and get it out of the way. <laughs> Catch a bunch of heat from somebody. <laughs> so uh well, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, this movie is in the Conjuring universe, but it was also rumored that this was going to tie into the Insidious as well. This is going to be that in between. Yeah, we talked about that one night. That's yeah, right. and I can tell you right now, what I loved about it is that you see the priest from the original Annabelle film, and he's talking about like, oh yeah, this is when you know I had the same issue with this porcelain doll, and I go, holy fuck, no way, they tied it into the Conjuring universe. That was the one little wink. But the yeah. fact is, you know, they're playing off a lot of that folklore because you know, especially here in Cali, where I live on the West Coast. Everybody either talks about Kukui or they talk about La Girona. Um, and there's a lot of influence on it. I mean, you see a game like fucking Left 4 Dead, The Witch, where she's like a weird yeah, woman, yeah. you know? Um, and it's just anything that has to do with La Girona, there's there's a lot of fucking references out there. Yeah, it um, comes to kids. 
Like, yeah, when it comes yeah. to like kids being drowned, or you see like a woman in white, like, you, you, no, fuck that. Like, you see a woman in white in the middle of the dark, you better get the fuck out of there, you know? Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that. Yeah. Um, but this movie, I, I really love the fucking story. I know a lot of people here in Cali were all pissed off because of the fact of like, oh, that's not the real La Llorona. They didn't talk about the old school story. It kind of like explained the folklore, how it started. And then it kind of yeah. builds into this own thing with it in the 70s. Um, I love that. Not a lot of people really did because they wanted to see like the original, original story. But it's been so muddied up over the years, nobody really knows it. So, I mean, I give James Wan all the credit for like writing out the story and producing this and kind of putting his own twist. But, you know, it kind of, for me, I feel like, like, shit, if you do a La Llorona and it's tied into the Conjuring universe, now are you going to do a La Llorona versus Valak the Nun? I mean, you, you got universe building, man. Yeah, I mean, you got to do that shit right there, man. <clears throat> yeah, I guess they could, um, but yeah, there was like in this one, there was like a Annabelle has like a little small cameo in this one. Yeah, and they did mention the uh, Warrens. That's pretty much all there was. That and the, you know, like you said earlier, the father from uh, Annabelle. But that's all that's really in this one that like still ties to the uh, whole rest of the universe. Mm -hmm. mm. See, I I thought this one. <clears throat> It can be a standalone film, you know, on its own. It, you know, you, like you can watch it. You don't have to do what we did and watch all the Conjuring movies to get to this. You can like just put this in by itself. Um, oh yeah. And like you said, I give Juan a lot of credit and the writers because they took like a threadbare story, just a simple like. You can tell that story in like a paragraph, for the most part. Yeah. And, you know, they fleshed it out and added a lot to it to give us a full hollywood flick but uh it was creepy man it was, there was some shit that happened where i was like ah wasn't expelled oh, damn it yeah, yeah the the fucking trailer scared the fuck out of me because like this kid's like locked up in the car that all of a sudden like all the doors open and then all of a sudden the fucking you know here here's la Girona eating this fucking kid like what the fuck is this yeah. you know? plus it's um, with kids like it sucked like you know oh, hate like, oh no no not the kids yeah the kids. and see um, that's what's cool about this story, man, is that it fucking hits you right to the core to make it fucking creepy as fuck. Yeah, especially uh, if you have kids, then you're like, oh. Yeah, man. like, I ain't watching this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, but it, it's, this film had a lot of love, you know, put into it because of the fact of how, you know, they took a folklore, but then they stretched it out and put their own little twist to it. Because mm -hmm. I could tell you, there's like old school, you know, Mexican people, Latinos that I could tell you. They tell me the stories are like, ah, that movie's bullshit. I'm like, why? What's bullshit about it? Ah, she wouldn't go after some other crazy kids. She'd go and try and bring them to the water. She'd like, they, she always stays near the water, which is true, you know, because it's like when you hear all the different folklore, some say like she's only found in water, she's only found at this time, blah, 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 blah. So it's that kind of muddies the water. But like, I see if they're going to keep pumping out these conjuring series, they're going to have to do where Valak meets La Girona. And I guarantee you it's going to happen down the road. So New Line Cinemas and James Wan, if you're listening to this, um, I, I, I want my cut of that pie, you know? <laughs> send, send us our five bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's awesome, man. That'd it's be like, a pretty well, crazy yeah, movie. Yeah, that the would, universe. Because right? then you would have, like, the priest from Annabelle, like, meeting up with the Warrens, and it'd be, like, this big-ass, like, Avengers-style, like, Conjuring Universe story. Yeah. That'd be brilliant. Yeah, and then they had to bring that one uh, Latino priest guy. I'm not sure exactly. He got like, he left the church or whoever, the one that was helping yeah. him. Yeah. Had yeah. to bring him into it too. That'd be pretty cool. Uh -huh. And then, you know, what would be the big twist is that this is like a time portal warp, and all of a sudden it's mixed into the Insidious universe. And the crooked man shows up and snaps his finger. <laughs> right? That'd be like fucking crazy. But this is the film that supposedly started all the rumors that it was going to tie in the cut. Well, Originally, at first, they said it was going to tie into the Insidious. The big twist is when you saw it the first day, it was like, oh, shit, no, it's in The Conjuring. But mm -hmm. they're saying that this is like a conduit where they're going to actually do, like, Insidious and Conjuring kind of tying together. But, yeah. you know, it depends on what they do with Insidious down the road. But, I mean, this is one of those ones that kind of was going to build up to it. And it got me hyped up. And this is the, that's the reason why I went to go see this film, like, opening day. And I said, oh, shit, I, I want to see the Insidious. I want to see the Lipstick Demon. I want to see the Red Devil come out, you know? Um, Darth Maul. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then when you see that it was the fucking Conjuring universe, it blew my mind. Like, holy fuck. So how is this going to tie in with Valak and the Crooked Man and what's going on with the whole Conjuring series? 
um, is this going to tie into where they're actually going to do a movie about Amityville? And, you know, Holy we'll find shit. out. Mind yeah. blown. Mind blown. Right? Yeah. That's you know, crazy. And at, at the time, if you think about it, because Amityville was talked about in a little bit in Conjuring 2. Um, we'll probably discuss that later on when we start talking about Conjuring 2. But yeah. I can tell you with this one, it blew me the fuck away because it opened like the floodgates of all the stories that you could have done. And <clears throat> you could have done this a single film by itself, which would have been just great. And then you could kind of spawn off its own franchise. But, you know, you're going to have the Latino culture that's going to come out and say, ah, that's bullshit. You can't do this, you know, because that's not what will really happen. And I get it because it's based off of a folklore, but they kind of put their own little twist to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I get it, it but it's kind not of a documentary. Doc- it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly yeah. the true, true. You know, exactly. You that's why I was. Story a little bit. Yeah. And see, and that's what made it entertaining. And. You know, I honestly, when I saw this, I said, there's no fucking way that James Wan's attached to it. I'm like, he just did The Nun. There's no fucking way. And this literally came out the same year as The Nun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, ah, man, The Conjuring. They, uh, all the offshoots and stuff. It's uh, This one was good, though. I was surprised. Because mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you, man. I went into it like, oh, crap. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You're but like, no, where's the like, Canadian mist? Yeah, Canadian mist fucking <laughs> makes all the difference. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, no, I I liked it. The makeup was real good on her. She was creepy as fuck. Um, I like the burns that she leaves on people. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That part with the umbrella in the pool, I thought that was fucking pretty badass. Oh, fuck. Oh, hell no. Yeah, Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, a lot of creepy parts. Yeah. It was, it had a lot of, um, like, not, not just jump scares, but it had a lot of shit from, like, like older horror movies had I, to me I, it's hard to describe like some of the sensibilities um well i had a lot of slow was, burn yeah yeah but uh yeah. they had some decent jump scares i liked them you know, oh yeah it wasn't like every nine seconds ah, ah huh. uh, the bathtub scene that that would fucking yeah scared. like yeah they, they were done yeah yeah that good. was good so, i'm i'm you know, I'm going to be real with you, man. If I ever have to go and take a shower at someone's house or anywhere, even a fucking hotel, if there's fucking windows around me, I ain't taking a shower. Fuck that, man. I, I've seen, After this, I see this movie, I said, fuck no, dude. <laughs> it's too funny, man. There's yeah. got to be... All the windows got to be fucking boarded up and closed off and shit. Uh-uh. No fucking way. That's awesome. I don't know. My mom went and saw The Exorcist, and she said she slept with the lights on in the house for a week. <laughs> yeah. Exorcist messed her up, boy. So, oh shit! Yeah, that's... there's there's shit like, like Psycho. There's people yeah. that still can't take a shower, right? Because of that yeah. movie, and it came out in the fifties. So, the power yeah. of Christ compels you. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day for an exorcism! Oh uh, fuck! Yeah, this thing's creepy. Like she, uh... look at that face. Oh shit! Yeah, she, her eyes follow. You. It, it doesn't matter. It's creeping <laughs> out. Just sitting next to it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> But uh, so yeah, Conjuring, Curse of La Llorona, yeah, check it out. I'd say check it out, definitely. You know, hell yeah, oh yeah, definitely. For me, this one's like a eight out of ten. I put it on the same level as like the Nun. Oh fuck, eight out of ten. Yeah, wow, okay. damn. damn. I know. I'm like, woo! You stole my score there. I was gonna give it an eight out of ten too. I mean, um, it, it's got a lot of love to this one. It really does. But I mean, the thing that really hurts this film for me. They released it the same year as The Nun, and there's they're very similar. That's the only thing. I think what they said was, fuck it, if we can't get the La Llorona name, let's do, you know, The Nun. The Nun, they already finished and was ready to press and, and do it, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh shit, we got the name to do La Llorona, so let's do that. <laughs> and they put the two together, and that's what shot him in the foot, because, I mean, you know, it's they're both very similar. Yeah, uh, see, The Nun, I think they went and rush that shit because again when we talk about conjuring too like she had such an awesome introduction in that yeah. movie and uh then it was like to me i I really didn't like the nun man i was like it's a bag of shit um huh. it was just rushed i think they were like hurry up we got to make that money we got to make that money and they that's made that money suffered, man you know yeah. yeah so but i liked it yeah. so yeah the nun was a lot slower than this one but this one was definitely very creepy yeah. Well, it moved at a decent pace too. That's the thing. Like, yeah, you know, some of the other ones are just like, oh, kill me now. But this one, you know, 
it, plus it kept my interest, man. So I, I liked it. That was good. I'll give it seven missing kids out of ten. Oh shit! You said missing kids. Missing kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked, kind of up. fucked up. But oh, it goes man. With the movies. So hey, you better not be walking around water, man. She's gonna be hunting for you. No. <laughs> no. I can't ever hear any kind of crying at night. Uh, no, 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 no. You, I wouldn't you be there at first. Yeah, you're going to be like, fuck that, lock the doors. Yeah, for real. Be like, uh, <laughs> I'm going fucking that way. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, man. Dig it, gets a pass. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. Check it out. And yeah, so we got two more to Ooh, get through. I can't wait. Yeah, can't man, next wait. up will be uh, The Conjuring 2. Ah, oh, oh. I like this one. Um, yeah. So, follow us on our journey. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah so, join us down the rabbit hole with the blue right. tail. Yeah, La La Rona. 